The Manchester Planning Commission held a second of two scheduled public hearings on a sweeping overhaul of the town's zoning districts and ordinances on Monday, January 21st. This one focused a little more on the rural areas surrounding the town center, unlike the first meeting on January 8th, which zeroed in on some of the proposed changes to the downtown and central parts of the town core. Changes in rules governing residential densities in both areas has been a key theme of the nearly two-year-long process the Planning Commission has been involved with as they have sought to bring the town's zoning ordinances and districts up to date. The town first adopted zoning codes in the early 1970s, and this will be the first comprehensive rewrite from the ground up since then. The new base residential densities in two new districts, the rural residential and the rural agricultural ones that will replace the current districts in those areas outside the town core, will be one house or dwelling unit per five acres in the rural residential zone and one home or dwelling unit per 10 acres in the rural agricultural zone. But the proposed ordinances will also allow for so-called density bonuses in those areas. Land that cannot be developed will be factored into the five or 10 acre parcels and their owners in the rural zones may be able to use other incentives such as energy efficiency designs to build more homes on those lots. A developer or property owner could also use what's being called a planned residential development to build more homes than the 5 or 10 acres if planned correctly. These proposals sparked a lively conversation at the Planning Commission meeting on Monday night. Uh, Jeff and the wife. Um, first, I, I want, want to say that thanks for all the incredible hard work and especially the focus on what you're trying to accomplish. And I, I like, and like the idea of the conservation approach. I like the direction of trying to increase the density downtown and I think those are very good and are I think are the right direction. Uh, with regards to some of the changes from prior to let's specifically talk about the rural agricultural, uh, the movement from 2 to 10 is a large uh, and significant uh, step um, and I think that's uh, it's dramatic. Uh, in, in many cases, and will de definitely impact economic value. Meanwhile, in the town center, the major changes will include unrestricted residential densities in the new downtown and town center districts, a requirement for at least two functional stories for new buildings in those two districts, and an increase in the maximum building height of 5 feet to a maximum of 40 feet to allow for four-story buildings in those two districts. Todd Nebraska, a member of the Planning Commission, explained. In the downtown, it's, it, 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 the, the biggest changes are all about, res, about densities, residential densities. And in the downtown and in the town center, which is in our town core, these red and orange areas, there's going to be unlimited residential development per acre. If someone wants to come in and build an apartment building in their downtown, it's going to be the, the amount of density you can put on that lot is going to be driven by the setbacks, the height, the allowable height of the building, how much parking you have to provide, which is going to somewhat shrink the building. You got to provide parking. You can't build on that. That's the height for 40 feet proposed. That's what we're proposing right now. Then around that, we're proposing an area, some areas that are our 10 or 10 units per acre. And That's as we this brown here. This the, the so brown areas, which is an increase of, which is an increase over what we have now, we go out a little over. But at the outermost areas, what used to be, what do we used to call it? Rural residential. Farming and rural residential. Farming and rural residential is getting divided up into two different zones. One is rural residential, which will have a density of one residential unit per five acres, and the rural ag, which is this darkest green in here is going to go to one in ten, which is currently one per two acres. The two main goals of the zoning ordinance rewrite are to maintain the town's essentially rural character while loosening restrictions on housing densities in the town core. Others include creating a pedestrian-oriented downtown and expanding opportunities for growing locally-based businesses including ones in the agricultural and forest product sectors. Another goal is to make the permitting process less complicated and redundant. And remember the uproar over those open flags from a few years back? 
The proposed ordinance attempts to settle that by allowing businesses to display two fixed open signs, but not flags, without getting a permit. They won't be able to measure more than two square feet in area. After the meeting, Manchester businessman Ed Dubois had these reactions. I, I, I think so. I think the overall effort is certainly in the right direction. There are some areas that I feel uh, perhaps need to be tweaked a little bit further. Um, I do have some concerns. One of the gentlemen today in the audience brought up uh, the concern about devaluing uh, some of the property values as a result of uh, going from two acres to ten acres, and I concur with that. I think. Uh, you know, um, that there is a risk for that to happen. Um, there, you know, I've, I've been a developer of residential projects and there is value in uh, the fact that uh, when you when you carve up and you take away some of the, um, you know, some of the lots uh, throughout that process that, you know, you can, uh, through the, the economies of scale, it can affect the overall vibrancy and, uh, you know, from a financial standpoint of the project. The other concern that I have, which wasn't addressed tonight, which um, hopefully will be addressed at the next meeting, is the mandatory two-story uh, requirement for the buildings uh, in the commercial corridor. I think that's a mistake. I think that's a big mistake uh, because what that does is that that kind of circumvents the um, you know the the market demand for that product. Uh, instead, what you're trying to do is create the market, and that market may not exist. I would support if a demand study was conducted to see if there is a market for that type of product in town, and certainly I'd support it, but uh, honestly, I don't think there is. The Planning Commission will meet next on February 5th to go over the feedback and comments they've heard during the two public hearings and may modify the documents somewhat before turning it over to the select board for their final approval. The select board is unlikely to get to that vote until after town meeting in March. For the GNET TV News Project, I'm Andrew McKeever.